Hello fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle on what is a very rainy night here in Bangkok. Um, it's a public holiday, uh, so uh, I'm relaxing and uh, I've had a, a nice uh, piece of tiramisu cake and coffee. I allow myself one piece of cake and coffee every couple of weeks. <laughs> Not much I know, but uh, I'm, I was banned from it for quite a while, but I'm now on a slightly relaxed diet, so that's okay. Um, what's going on in the world? What a, One thing I am on, uh, still on, is uh, olive oil. At least I think I'm on olive oil, uh, but who can tell these days? Because apparently uh, so much of it is fake. Um, uh, much in the EU uh, because of the uh, poor quality of uh, the olives uh, nowadays uh, and the high price of olive oil, much of it has been faked. Uh, apparently uh, last year Italian authorities uh, seized more than, more than half a million kilograms of fake olive oil. So um, I believe I'm, uh, you know, on, on, on olive oil. Uh, I have olive oil in my diet, my Mediterranean assisted diet. Mostly it's Thai food, to be honest with you, but <laughs> with some Mediterranean uh, kind of foods uh, as well. And um, uh, apparently uh, much of what I'm taking might not be the real thing anyway. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? Now, this is the impossible Sudoku puzzle from the LA Times. Uh, it's dated the 28th. I'm playing this on Monday the 29th, but it, of course this is yesterday's puzzle. They only give, It only comes out once a week. I play it whenever I've got a bit of free time. And that just happens to be today, Monday. Uh, so I'll get on with it. Now, uh, for uh, viewers of this channel who have not seen me play this uh, impossible Sudoku before, first of all, it's never impossible. It's always fairly easily doable, but it does usually require some kind of Sudoku technique. Uh, maybe an X-Wing, or more popular in this particular puzzle, XY wings are a real thing, I've noticed. Uh, but for me, I can't find XY wings or, or even really X-Wings without uh, putting in pencil marks. So I won't bother with the... I'll, I'll just go a little way forwards without pencil marks and then I'll start putting them in because for me it saves a lot of time. So shall we get on with the game? Uh, let's do that then. So we'll start, we'll just go around in, in numerical fashion to begin with and let's put a one here. I'll do some uh, um, stuff without candidates first if I can. If there are any more I will try to do some more. We've got two blocking down here and down here. That's going to put two into that square. We've got two blocking up here and across there. Oops. So we will also get ourselves a 2 there, and we will know that 2s are in those squares there. We've got a pair of 3s like that. Uh, actually, we've got 3 across here and 3 up there, so that's going to give me a 3 there. 3 across this way, 3 across that way, and 3 up there means that's a 3. And we will now understand that threes are in those squares and those squares. What was the other? Oh, that was twos in those squares, wasn't it? Okay. Try and remember this stuff for me. My memory is poor. Four blocks down here. So four is somewhere there going up. So fours will be up there somewhere. We've got fours in those squares. Okay, four blocking up here. 4 has to be in one of these two squares blocking down, 4 across there, there's a 4, 4 somewhere across there, six this way and this way, six there, did I? I had something. Three. Okay, we've got a pair of three and six in these squares here. Three and six. So these have to be one, four, five, no, one, five, eight, I should say. We've got a one blocking there. The fives and the eights, I don't think I know anything about just yet. Anyway, never mind. Uh, we'll try to remember that for later. Hang on, was that? 
Oh no, six anywhere there now. Oh wait a minute, we've got a six over here. While I'm messing around there, we can actually place a six here. So I think sixes are there. And sixes are here. So that means in the middle here, we can only look for six in the middle row, right? We've got six. Six blocking there and there, six blocking there and there, so six is like that. And we've got six down here, six up there, so we found ourselves a six there. That's good. Slightly unexpected, maybe. Got a pair of sevens in those squares. Eights are up there somewhere in those squares there. Nines. Nine across here, nine across there, and nine down there. There's a nine. I th yes, seven across here, seven across there. I thought I'd seen something there. So seven up here, seven across there. We're going quite a long way without pencil marks, but as I said, usually they'll need some pencil marks at the end. Sevens here. This is one of the ga those games, it's not normally about the beginning, it's about the end. And there's a trick at the end or something. Seven there, seven across here, seven down there. Oh, that's the last seven. Oh, good. Uh, and eight blocking across here, but this way back eight is one of those squares blocking across there so that has to be an eight and the last number to place here four I think and the number here is one uh, did I have something there before one two threes are there four no maybe not <coughs> uh, where am I? I've forgotten. Let's start again. I think we've got ones in those squares, one somewhere up there, ones there, twos. Ah, okay, so in the top row, okay, so if you look at the, what I've drawn here with the blue squares for the fours, right, four blocking down here, four across here, so four has to be in one of these two squares blocking up, four blocking up here, so four is either in this square or this square, but look here, we've got four blocking that square there, and so we know that in the top row, that has to be the four. Uh, and now four, or we could have just seen it like this, four blocking up will give the four there. And that might make it a bit easier to see, I suppose. Nine blocking this square, so in this row there's our nine. The last digit up here is a five. And that means we have a five here. Missing digits here are one and eight. Missing digits here are, I think, one and eight again, aren't they? I think. Is that right? One blocking across there. There's our one, there's our eight. And back this way, we're looking for a five. Gives me fives down there. Uh, okay. One across here, one down here, or one up there. There's our one. Then we're left with ones like this. Twos there and there. Okay, as I drew before, I think. 
three is there there there, there as shown as previously advertised four oops fours there 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 like this yes okay fives what do we know Oh, this is uh, 3 and 6, isn't it? Yeah, 3 and 6 blocking down here. So that's 3 and 6. So this is something else, not 3 or 6. Uh, 5. So 5 now like that. And somewhere down there. Oh, okay, 6 and 8 blocking down here. That puts 6 and 8 into those squares, gives me a 2 here. And 2 down here and down there means that that's a 2. One more digit to finish off here, that's an 8, I think. Uh, we are left with, what, 5, 9 here? Something like that. Two up here, two across there. There's a two. Uh, I think we got five, eight in those squares. It's like this. Well, I'll have a quick look through and then I'll put in the pencil marks because I say normally there's some kind of, uh, you know, logic thing we bob at the end. Okay, I'm going to put in the pencil marks now. Uh, let's see what we're left with. We've got 1 and 8 here. I'm just going to put everything in because, uh, you know, um, 6 and 8 there. 3 and what? 3 and 6 in those squares, I think it is. And down here. Five and nine, and uh, okay, let's let's do this block here. One, two. What do we know about threes? Threes are in those squares. 
in fact let's just do everything everywhere four across here so fours are in those squares and those squares and these squares uh, five is somewhere down there and there and a pair like that Uh, six all accounted for. Seven is finished. Eight. Uh, what do we know about eights? We've got a pair of eights here, and we've got a pair of eights up there. And so nines are down here and down there. Okay, let me just. Ones are here. make sure I've got old digits everywhere. I'm something missing here. Oh, eights. I know what I'm missing there. Eight blocking down there. Okay, let's make sure everything is accounted for. Ones. Okay, good. Twos. Finished. Threes. Yes. Fours. Every block. Okay, fives. Yes. I think sixes look okay. Seven is done. Eight. Uh, yeah, I think so, and nine. All right, so let's spot that pattern, shall we? Uh, quite a few pairs. It looks suspicious. You never know. They might, like I said at the beginning, uh, before starting, there are quite often um, X, Y wings are, are favoured by the setters of this particular puzzle, but there might be something easier. Just listen to the rain while I think for a while. Ah, there we go. Uh, I think it's right. Five, nine starting here to four, nine to f four, five, right? So uh, we start with five. We have a conjugate pair with nine okay so that goes to the nine over here four nine so this is the nine matches then we go uh, the second digit which is the four to a four here with the five which is our starting digit so we start on five here and we finish on five here which means that this square which can see both this square and this square cannot be a five it has to be a nine and then that's going to be a five down there and we're left with four over here and nine in that square, eight there. That should be enough to finish the game. Uh, a very common uh, technique that they use in these impossible, so-called impossible Sudoku puzzles uh, from the LA Times. I think it's just a matter of. Looks like it's just that's uh, the only one that we needed. I think that's the only one that we needed. We there might be yeah. There's not enough digits left really for any more trouble. I believe. Uh, we got okay. That's a one. So that's eight up there. One in that square. Nine down here. Eight there, and finish with a five. Yep. So, yet again, proved to be a very possible, impossible Sudoku. I got a long way before putting in the uh, pencil marks there. Much further than normal. Normally, I only get halfway, and then start putting in pencil marks. So, uh, there's something. But anyway, uh, needed uh, X Y wing at the end there. Uh, to finish off. That's it. Take care. Bye-bye.